four is a two. Hey, what's up, boys? Today, we are going to explain the one-dimensional, finite, element, models. FEM was developed initially, and prospered, as a computer-based simulation method for the analysis of aerospace structures. Then it found its way into both design and analysis of complex structural systems, not only in aerospace but in civil and mechanical engineering. But, what is FEM about? Many engineering problems involve complex that, we are forced to perform a mathematical model, representing the physical phenomenon. So that, FEM has two interpretations, one physical and the other one mathematical. The physical part involves the breakdown of structural system into components, and reconstruction by assembly process. Meanwhile, the mathematical part is, a numerical approximation of boundary value problem by Ritz Gaylor can discretization with functions of local support. The basis of the finite element method is the representation of a body by an assembly of subdivisions called elements. These elements are interconnected via points called nodes. Nice. The types of items generally used in the resolution, through FEM, are In this video, we will only see the linear elements, but, importantly, you can use combinations of these elements, acting together. Let's see the direct method using a spring system. The simplest type spring elements are defined only with stiff along longitudinal direction, thereof, that is capable of withstanding tensile stresses and compression. The element is defined with the following features. Remember that, the system forces may act only at the node's elements. The internal forces of the spring can be expressed as a function of the nodal displacements and the stiffness of the element. We can express the system in a matricial form. The internal forces as a column vector called F and the vector of nodal displacement colon U. The offsets listed in the mathematical model are the degrees of freedom of the element. When any of these movements is a boundary condition, this becomes a DOF system data, then becoming the force in the node to solve the mystery in it, where the matrix K is the stiffness matrix of the element. Now, consider a system of springs in series. For the different elements, the systems are where F is the local node I, internal force acting on, the element M. Considering the condition of static equilibrium of forces, internal forces equals external forces, developing with, the values of the internal forces, as a function of the stiffness of each element, we get. As example, let's consider a system, having the following conditional. Now, it gets reduced to as in ignite for mates, U, and solving the system, we get in conclusion, for a system of N nodes, the finite element method allows generate 10 equations, which must be N unknowns to be a defined system. The unknowns may be part of the displacement vector or be part of the force vector. Each node must have its displacement or force acting imposed as a condition of edge bar element in 1D. Consider a continuous section bar. 
The system is composed of The element has two off in the longitudinal direction of the element. Any displacement of the nodes in the normal direction to the element will generate internal stresses. Knowing that the stiffness to stress slash compression in a bar and making an analogy with the spring element. To solve the system proceeds in the same manner as the spring element, but this time having an account the modulus of elasticity, the area of the cross section and the bar length. Let's see a practical example. What is required is A. Find the stiffness matrix of the system B. Movements in nodes 2 and 3 C. The forces on the abutment, nodes 1 and 4 and D. The force in the spring 2 The stiffness matrix for each element is So, applying the principle of superposition, the full stiffness matrix of the system is obtained. The equilibrium matrix equation remains as follows. Applying the boundary conditions in the matrix equation and crossing the first and fourth row and column, we have With the first and fourth rows of the equation, and the date of displacement already calculated, we have After that, the equilibrium equation for the element 2 is Where I equals 2 and J equals 3 Thus, one can calculate the force as following And the exercise is done Love maths. To finish the video, let's see some conclusions. In mathematics, the finite element method (FEM) is a numerical technique for finding approximate solutions to boundary value problems for differential equations. It uses variation. It uses variational methods, the calculus of variations to minimize the error function and produce a stable solution. D method has since been generalized for the numerical modeling of physical systems in a wide variety of engineering disciplines, as electromagnetism, heat transferring and fluid dynamics. Here, we show a table of how can we present the vectors of the matrix equation in order to solve the different physical models. The fast and changing world of computing boost that different software companies into the development of that kind of applications. Since the finite element method had overstepped its origins barriers and the structural analysis had been suitable for countless applications and fields of study, ranging from food engineering, mechanical engineering through Formula One, aerospace engineering, to reach the simulation of atmospheric systems and weather prediction. Thanks for watching the video. Enjoy, and see you soon.